No I don't. Exactly. No I don't. Exactly. I think they do, bro. Okay. The barbers charge 60 bucks now <laughs> and expect a tip on top of that. And you're and you're homeboy as fuck. Why not? Yeah, that's not scared also too, coño. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of the Y Podcast. I'm your host, Memo. My name is Omar. And together we are the Y Podcast. Why, bro? What's up, bro? Sorry, I'm trying to get together here. See what I'm saying? Shit, bro. You know what? Thank you, whoever participated. We have a lot of topics to talk no. about. Oh, yes. Como que se esta. Por la gente, I appreciate, Fuck, I appreciate bro. you. I know I don't want to give no shout outs, but you know what? Everyone that participated, gracias. Tenemos a lot a of topics. A lot bro. of feedback. A lot of feedback. Feedback and topics. I want to jump into the good ones, viejo. Let's go for it. Uh, you want to start with any specific or anything? I mean, what do you think? No, let's go for it. Okay. So we have one. We ha um, I, wanted to, I wanted to start. I, I mean, there's no like right or wrong thing. You know what I mean? No transitioning, shit like that. But one of the topics that brought up was um, the barbers. Oh, okay. So one of the guys, um, they brought up the barbers. He's like, hey, wait, talk about how the barbers charge 60 bucks now <laughs> and expect a tip on top of that. <laughs> Damn. And, and sometimes you have to wait for them, we. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So, so. I'm assuming the guy's like, yeah, wait, so last time, um, the, my barber's like, hey, wait, jale tapaca las tres. So you're going to be there at three. Yeah. He shows up at three. That fool's not there, wait. Uh -huh. He texts him like, hey, wait, oh, sorry, but aquí estoy en la vuelta, wait, ahorita llego para pa acá. So, trip out. Llega, wait. And then he's like, oh, shit, I'm so sorry, wait. I had this one guy real quick. I had told him before, no, I'm going to go decirte. I'm going to finish up real quick. The whole point is, the you do like an hour and a half after he attended the other. So he's like, "Fuck, you know what? Fuck is passo, whatever it is." But he's like, "Well, maybe he's still gonna kind of give me a discount for the cagada like he did." Hey, oh no, bro. He's like, "No, it's you know, how much was it? Oh yeah, sixty bucks." He, I mean, he didn't say shit, but it's like sixty bucks. He told the pinchy cagason que hiciste ahí, bigo. That left me waiting for an hour and a half. And sometimes they get mad for like they're the mad ones way. What do you think of that, bro? There's a simple solution to that, bro. Oh, you're going, yeah. Very, very simple. Very, very, very. Okay. <laughs> Look. You should know your barber by now. Plain, right. plain and simple. Okay. If you don't like it, move on to the next one. Look for a better one. Or look for another one. At the end of the day, you keep going back to the same barber. And I'm going to speak from my personal point of view. I know my barber on a personal level. Okay. That I'm okay with it. Okay with what? Showing up late. Okay. Unreliable, what are you saying? Yeah. Right? Showing up late. But I'm okay with it. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, that's because what I have my ways of working around his schedule. Okay. He has his ways of working around his schedule, right? So you guys have your own little... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We, have, we have a communication there. Um, hey, if you, if you don't like your barber of the fucking mama that he does... Move on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move yeah. on. Yeah. There, there's nothing to talk about there. You're mad as fuck. Whether you, you like it or you don't like it. If you don't like it, move right. on to the next wave. If you like yeah, it. Yeah, they're saying that it's, like, they're saying that it's, it's getting more expensive. I mean, look, Every, everybody has a price. Yes. It's a service they're providing, right? Yes. So it's also, like I said, I mean, if you think you could charge 60 bucks and people get you, then so be it, people. For me, I come out on here, people. A two around, two around, me la barbita, wey. Y arriba un seis. Now, if there's special occasions like una boda aquí, boy, boy, y pues agarro mi pinche barber way, y pues a gusto, así no pasa nada, digo. Yeah, you're right. Like a little fade, whatever it is. Pero if it's like a regular daily, I, 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 the last time I got a haircut was one on your wedding week, February. Estamos en abril, digo. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know if jacked up, me la, me la arreglo bien, viejo, you know, I mean, algo decente para que se me dé bien el bono. Okay, but <clears throat> it's going back, going back to what you used to tell me, wey. Hey, wey, shave your beard. I, well, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. I thought, I, my wife told me, hey, don't shave your beard. Lay your beard. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. I thought it looked good. Ooh, I thought I it looked know, good. You know, hey. Look, you gotta fucking marry I, kept, I, kept, I kept my beard because I thought it looked good. Mm -hmm. Who said, look, 
I I thought I'd look you know what you should, Hold up, hold up, wait. <laughs> but I could do that to you, Wade. Oh, you think you look good because you're cutting your own hand away. Yeah, bro. But okay, so no, why I, no, no, why, is it, why is it why is it that why is it what what have you been told? That my hair looks good. When they, when you go to a barber or when you cut it yourself? Uh when I cut it myself. People are like, oh she got a fresh cut. I'm like, yeah. How much it doesn't look charge? bad. It doesn't look bad. I know it doesn't. I know it but doesn't. But there's, there's a difference, Wayne. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to get a little fade. I can't do all that. No, 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 no. Mine is dos alrededor. Mi con la cabeza atrás. That's how it is. It's not like, I mean, it's not like your fade. Fade otro pelo. You have to have some type of skill to get faded. You know what I mean? It's fine. But um, I'm okay with it. And it doesn't look bad. The only thing is the back. My wife lines up the back. I don't see me that I'm puteado. You know what I'm saying? I lean up your spouse. But yeah, thank you. Shout out to my wife. She does the back. We save 60 bucks a month. I don't, I, I don't know about those 60 bucks. Like. What do you mean? How much do they charge you? Well, I'm, his family, so you know what I mean? We, we keep. No, but that's it. I mean, oh, well, family bucks, that's good. Six, no, that's, no, that's what it is. No, we go. No, it's not, way. Like, Especially no. you have a fucking bottle. Living like yours, fool. You shouldn't pay more than 20 bucks for that, whatever you want to call that. We go. Hola. Mine is basically like, well, 25 bucks for the beer and 25 bucks for the hair away. 25 bucks for the hair? Well, I'm, I'm exaggerating. Okay, like, if, I, if I go to get my beer away, it's 25 bucks away. Hey, I just want the beer. Where do you go? Beauty okay. salon or what? Yeah, it's top notch. We go. It's really nice. It's a really nice place. He gets down. We go. You go beauty salon? Are you been for it? No, no, it's not a beauty salon. It's a barbershop. But he that's what you the, do. Twenty five bucks. Also, the prices now, bro. Oh, okay, you pay twenty five bucks. I pay sixty bucks for my whole everything. The hair and the beer, sixty bucks. I pay one price for everything, and it ain't sixty bucks. I'll tell you that. Well, what, what did you just say? What did you just say right now? Oh, it's his family. Okay, bro. Now everybody has a family barber, bro. If you go anywhere else or barbershop, you're going to get charged around that price, Will. And that's going to be family price, bro. I'll tell you that. I could guarantee you that I could find a barber that won't charge 60 bucks. You get the caputeo? No. It, it's a good barber. Really. I mean, I don't know I don't know what you what you could, um, what's a good barber for you or whatever it is, but the barber I go with, you go, influencers go there. I'm an influencer, <laughs> so I go, verate, verate, verate. You got, you got famous people that go and cut his survey over there. Okay. He has a good shop and everything, go. Regardless, bro. If you're not happy with your fucking barber... Bounce. Move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, not, yeah. there's not much there to talk about. You're mad as fuck, fool. Okay. What's the other one? The other topic we had, Rico. So, um, now we're going to get a bit touchy. We're going to get relationship advice here because we're fucking the love doctors, apparently. I want right? to tell you guys something. So, you, you, you want to pick one? Or you no, wanna... no, no. I want to say something. Okay. I want to uh, throw a disclaimer. We ain't shit. We don't know anything. Omar ain't shit. Don't, don't, don't. We ain't shit. I, I, I don't I'm know shit. anything about relationships. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just giving you guys my opinion. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. With that being said, uh huh. Okay, so again, another so, another. Shoot. What's wrong with you, bro? Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Shit, bro. Wait, what I, happened? Well, this is all like you, you were gonna jump in and then you stop and then you. Talk. No, 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 no. I made a disclaimer and then you were gonna. Stop. Okay, I did the disclaimer. Yeah, you're right. We aren't shit. I'm not shit either. We oh, just oh now, you're, now you're not shit. I was fucking around. I'm sorry, Omar. You know what I'm so talking about, bro? But um, no, no, no. It's just us talking. What we yeah, think? Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's 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 an opinion. Opinion base. Okay. Disclaimer, like Omar said. It's, 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 it's getting a little... It's getting a little go, 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 go. They say, should a toxic relationship stay together for the kids? He said, Puro finchis bombazos, viejos. Puro finchis bombazos. Action. Hey, bro. No, 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 no. April should 19. a toxic relationship stay together for the kids? Toxic. Like, what do you mean by toxic? Le pegan? There's so much. There has to be context behind that, right? No, no, no. Whatever in you general, think. Whatever you think. Right, 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 right. In general, right? So, no. No. Why not? Why not? Because it's toxic. Because it's toxic for them? Toxic for, my, for, the for, my personal, for my personal perspective, no. But some people love toxic. Yeah, 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 yeah. They like that. I mean, you like it. You like it. So, yes. If you love toxic, and bro, if you tell anybody, hey, you like toxic, what are they going to say? No, I don't. Exactly. No, I don't. Exactly. I think they do, bro. Oh, why? Because they're there. Thank you. you. Okay, you know what? Half of these questions you're asking, you know the answer to. You just want to like. You just want to confirm. Confirm. Confirm what? That you don't like them no more? That it's toxic? Him or her? Her or him? Him, her, her, whatever it is. If, if it's not working out. But I've had I've had people that say they're toxic, but they, they're still living the life like they're like in love. I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it, shit going on. I like that shit, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, part of the show. Now, if it became toxic in the thing, but if it was toxic from day one, what the fuck are we doing, bro? 
If it was toxic from day one, then what are we doing? Now, if it transpired into toxic, like, oh my God, he wasn't like this, he changed. It's like, problem. Yeah. Which I don't believe in that, by the way. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in, in you switching, way. I honestly don't believe in that shit, way. Switching up? I don't. Anyways. Todo tiene solución, viejo. Yes, I get that. You, you leave, you stay, and work it out. Two options. You could leave, I'm out, or you can stay and be like, you know what, let's work it out. I don't want to be toxic no more. Because some people think that. I had a homie that, that, that knew a fucking toxic relationship, and they were like, hey, bro, like, I thought that was a normal thing to fucking feel. Like, I thought that relationship was normal because that's the only thing I saw. And they were constantly fighting. Like graphic shit, wait. It has a lot. Of, it has a lot. Of, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely so, right. So, so if people are not ex- exposed to other relationships with, and they see that, and like, no, because that's that's how relationships are supposed to be. Yeah. Always fighting. No way. You, no way. If you're constantly fighting, bro, I don't remember the last time I found my wife. If it's constant, way, that fuck all that way. I don't need that shit, bro. But some some people can um, misunderstand fighting and, and disagreements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's things that you disagree have a disagree on. on yeah, yeah. Disagree. A disagreement on. And people like to escalate it to a point where it shouldn't be escalated, right? Or or, or sometimes like a, a ego shit, like no, well, it's because I say uh, exactly. It's so that it's one of the things where like, hey, you left your socks in the in the in the living room. Well, I'm a guy. No, 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 it's not that. Oh, it's like, what, what? It's like, are you gonna escalate it? Oh yeah, well you do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? It's one of those shits. Where, like, bro, we gotta fucking mature. We gotta grow up around here. If you left your fucking socks in the living room, pick them up and that's it. That's it. Or don't leave them there. Exactly. And I that's left, it. I left mine in the kitchen and then I got it and I moved it to the sala. And that shit does not go to the fucking laundry and <laughs> <laughs> I just move around. My, even my little girl's like, ew, puppy socks, nasty. <laughs> and you better stop, girl. But uh, um, yeah, you go. I mean, it's just, I don't know. Look, when it comes I, to I the don't know what it is. I don't know what it is because about that shit. I just, I go to my It's not okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. But yeah, because so. I don't, I don't even yeah. have socks for the same reason. Oh, you know what? I take them off and shit. <laughs> I only dropped them all there. <laughs> okay, because so that was one. But we have a whole list, bro. Yeah, 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 we have a lot. list. Now, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna go to uh, another. Um, uh, okay, before we move on, okay. look, we're getting based off whatever you you guys are asking. That's why it's everywhere. If you guys want like full detail, like oh, start it here. Get, send us a story, which I have a story by the way. It leads me to, uh, toxic relationship. Okay, okay, right? okay, okay. Go on, so go on. this is more detailed. Um. I'm going to play like I'm going through it because I don't want to expose yeah, it yeah, again. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and keep this confidential. Don't worry about it. We won't say and shit. Believe it or not, we're having a lot of fucking like... You, were you surprised? We're not. We're not. No, were you surprised when you got those many... This fuck, nobody's looking at this podcast. Fool. That's true. I went through Reddit and I fucking got all the damn stories. Well, were you them. surprised when we got those many, that many responses? Uh, no, I wasn't because okay. we I was love our about. audience. Thank you so much for watching us. Yeah. I oh, appreciate you. We appreciate it's, you. It's funny how you made me look like I'm fucking like, again with the PR all over again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, you know what? I think the weather's kind of crazy. The people have been <laughs> sensitive around here. There's too much shot against time. Go ahead, bro. Okay. So, 30, 35, 35-year-old female. Okay. Um, has a kid. Yes. Divorce. Mm. I'm female, 35. I've been talking to a guy, 35 male. All right. Divorce. He has kids. Oh shit! Um, and their kids are pretty grown up. They don't rely on him as much as like, what mine do you mean, does. What do you mean? Like they're eighteen or older, okay, or they're okay, like okay. you know, a uh, uh, young young teens. teens. Um, so I, I've been going out with this guy for two years now, mm. and we be we've been going out, and um, I haven't I haven't I know his whole story. I know where he's from. I know his parents. I I know because of what he told me, but I don't know them personally. Mm. And we've been dating for two years plus now, and he'll make com he makes comments to me like I'm gonna move in, but I haven't even met your parents for you to move in, or I understand that we've ha- we've uh, we built a relationship to a point where I give my house key in case of an emergency, like I forgot lost my house keys or whatever, but that's the limit I- I'm willing to go, for the same reason that I haven't met the family. I brought it up to his attention, and all he says is pretty much, yes, you're right, you're right. I'm going to introduce you to my family soon. But it hasn't happened yet. Okay. What do I do? He dropped his ass. Bro. Okay. okay. It's because I'm not in a rush to, like. So then why are you complaining about it if you're in a rush? Why is it an issue now? Look, if it happens, it happens as far as building something with him. Mm. But it does, it's back in my head that I haven't met the family. 
Is that going to make a difference? He met my family, though. Oh. Well, so somebody's 100% in the relationship. And it ain't and it ain't him. It ain't him. Don't say that. Dude, what the fuck you want me to tell you? Lie to me. That's what you want. In the podcast, we don't lie in the motherfucking podcast. But that's what I'm saying. I mean... That was it. I think sometimes you need to sit back and before you write the message, read it yourself. Read it out loud. And look how sh- how you sound. Sometimes we need that. Step back, write I'm like, oh, I'm gonna write the message and let them know what to- read it, read it first and read it out loud for yourself so you can hear what you're saying, bro. Sometimes we're we're blind to shit like that way. So you're telling me you've been with this guy for two year and a half years, you've never met his parents, nobody in his family, but he's met all your family members. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's probably an FBI agent, we. Or a fucking He's probably a CIA agent or something. It's because I'm scared that they might tell you something. They might tell the guy something. Who? My mom. Oh, whose mom? Wait, wait, wait. I'm fucking twisted. Oh, yeah. The he's, guy's he's mom. Scared. The, he's scared. The guy's, the, guy's oh, scared. the guy's scared that the mom's going to, like, say something to her, to me. But I could handle myself. I told him, hey, I could handle myself. I know how to stand my ground. Don't worry or, or about maybe, it. Or maybe. Also, just one small little key. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not important, by the way. Of course it's not important. Why are you bringing it up? If the it's not the ex-wife is really close to the mom, his mom, and right. they still have a friendship, <laughs> and they still hang out, and they go to each other's houses and stuff like that. But that has nothing to do with them. Then that fool's probably still with his wife, bro. No. That fool's probably... What, what's wrong? You okay? I'm playing. You didn't want to hear that? I'm playing a Grammy Award here. Yeah, yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> I mean, bro. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, like... You haven't met the parents, and then when you bring it up to him, he's like, "Yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah, you together. Yeah, I tell you, you're right, but there's no action between." So then, what are we playing? You know, damn well he's not gonna present you to the family. He's been married two and a half years. He's still with his wife and his family. Does he? He doesn't live with you. He goes occasionally to your house. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, bro? What are we doing here? You're the fucking side. You're the side piece, honey. Ponte las pilas. But he's, he's always hanging out with me, though. What, yeah? Yeah. Like, what's it really, like, daily shit? or what is Daily it? shit. We communicate daily. We see each other daily. Maybe he has a job, supposedly, but that doesn't require him to go to the job and he tells his wife, hey, I'm going to my job. Boom. No, he has a job. I drop off lunch to him and everything. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Do you know where he lives? Yes. Have you been to his house? Yes. Um, have you checked if it has like women's clothes in there? I don't do that. Oh, okay. I don't have time for that. Okay, well, shit. Then you're okay. You're okay. He's not gonna move in with you. But he says he is. No, no, yeah, he's gonna keep saying that. I'm gonna win the lottery soon. <laughs> I mean, fuck. I keep saying that. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck you wanna say? I keep, I keep, we keep saying that. I mean, we're, we're still here. But um, yeah, I think you should. If it's if it's a big deal for you, then you should tell him and drop him. But if it's not, shut up and continue driving. Shut up and drive, 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 drive. That's it. I mean, bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I like that, bro. Shit's simple. So now, another one that came up was I have, I have family members. Oh, <laughs> Can you, this is a good. This is a good one, eh? Um, so let me um, drink something for this. How? So basically. Couple, 45 years old couple from, it's, 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 I think it's, um, I think they're from Mexico. Or I don't know, yeah, I think from Mexico. Um, a 40 year old couple, they have three kids and they're already all like 20, they're like 20 plus already. We have todos viejos los niños. They already have grandkids. Um, yeah, they decide to get married through church. Um, so, in their nice imaginary, I don't know what they're right, thinking in their, in their in mind, mind, they were like, yeah, let's get married. I'm going to contact some of my family members in USA because I already made this plan. I made this plan, right? I'm trying to get married in this nice little fucking hot, nice little um, area, a venue, a nice little banda, I don't know if it was, or whatever it is. Um, but I already made the, I made the, I made the calculations if, I have a couple of family members out there. If they are, if everybody in, in the USA send us some money, we should be good. I'll send 100 bucks. Oh, no, 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 no. So at uh, the calculations, I called you. 
Hello. Hola, tío, ¿cómo ha estado? Bien, bien. ¿Qué ya pasó, tengo, mija? Ya tengo como unos años sin hablar con usted, ¿a? ¿cómo Ay, ha estado? Sí, sí, sí. Aquí, aquí bien, ¿cómo estás? Como, ¿cuántos años tengo sin hablar con usted ya? ¿Ya unos cinco o siete años? Yo creo que sí, ya, es mucho, ya, pues ya ves, aquí tengo al Ponchito, ya está bien grande, ya tiene 25 años, y pues también mi otra niña bien grande, todas ya están bien grandes, y ya tienen hijos, se da, ¿y cómo, oh, está, wow. usted? ¿Cómo está usted? Aquí echando de putados a la vida. Ay, hablando de putados a la vida, fíjate lo que se me corrió, tío. ¿Qué se la ocurrió, mía? No, pues es que... Y yo y, y Firulais nos quisiéramos, nos queremos casar por la iglesia, ya ves, ya de oh, viejos. Felicidades, sí, es que bueno, ya ves, ya de bueno. viejos, a ver que nos agarran las tonteras, se da y, y pues queremos hacer una fiesta en grande, tío. Oh, fíjese. Sí, me da gusto, me da gusto. Sí, y quería, pues quería preguntarle un favorcito, un favorcito bien chiquito, un chuchito chiquito. ¿Qué pasó, mía? Es que fíjate que a mí me gusta un, un este, un, una, una locación bien bonita donde nos queremos casar. Y pues yo le hablé con mi esposo y le dije, fíjate si. Tengo unos tíos allá que nos podrían ayudar con esta locación, porque ellos tienen mucho dinero allá, pues ya ves, en, ¡Oh! ahí en el gabacho, pues, eh, eh, en los árboles sale el dinero. ¿Y cuáles tíos son estos? No, pues usted, tío, ¡ay, bien chistoso, tío! <risa> ¡Ay, ya! ¡Se me olvidó qué chistoso eras, tío! ¡Qué bárbaro, eh! ¡Ay, tío! Pero sí le digo, pero fíjese, pues ya hablé con usted, hablando con usted, y luego le voy a hablar a su hermana también, y pues, si usted y, y los otros hermanos se ponen de acuerdo, pues cada uno me puede mandar 1.200 dólares, y yo creo que con eso lo hacemos. ¿Aló? Ay, espérenme, se me cortó. ¿Aló, aló? Hermana, te van a llamar. Ay, te van a llamar. No contesten. ¿Qué pasó? Ay, no contesten. Ay, ¿qué pasó? That's it. Specific. Cada uno de ustedes nos van a mandar 1,200. What do you think of that, bro? I don't, I don't, what the fuck, bro? Coño. I haven't talked to you in seven years. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you for that. That's not good, way. Está cabrón ese rollo, no digo. That's a scam. That's a scam. That's a scam, way. Family scam. That's what they're doing. That's a scam, way. Coño. Pero ellos no tienen la culpa, way. ¿Quién tiene la culpa? Los que aceptan. Los tíos. A huevo. Lindo los tíos. Siguen mandando dinero, viejo. Bueno, no. A veces ocupa mandar dinero. ¿Sí? ¿Para bodas? Espérate, espérate lo que te digo. Si sí, eso así como para ayudar o que está tu mamá ya enferma, hay que mandar o ayudar a la gente, digo, no pasa nada de eso. Oh, sí, sí, eso claro, no pasa claro. nada de que si te mande dinero por algo como de hospital o que sea, o están enfermo, no pasa nada, viejo. Si están viviendo un poquito rough, está cabrón. Pero para tirar una pachanga, está cabrón. Digo yo. Porque si no tienes para hacer una fiesta, viejo, entonces no te, no te metas en ese rollo. Uh -huh. Porque para nada pidiendo gente y dinero es otro pedo, hijo. Luego te quedas endeudado. Y luego más aparte. Ellos a veces se enojan contigo para no pagarte para atrás, viejo. Es un pinche pedo, es un relajo ahí, viejo. Pero así está esta, esta, esta historia que me mandaron ahí, viejo. Imagínate. ¿Cuál, no, ¿Cuáles tíos son esos para llamarles? Porque no, yo... no, we can say names, bro, pero... No, no, no. Ya, viejo, sí está. Scam them too, porque... 1,200, viejo. En efectivo. Y puros cabezones, por favor. Eh. No, no de un dólar. De puros 100 dólares, porque aquí manejan mucho eso de esos cabezones verdes. O oh, azulitos. Que le llaman allá los Benjamines. Ay, los Benjamins. <risa> así, viejo. ¿Cómo es la cosa esta madre? Eh, güey, Oye, pero... Hay un chingo de historia así, viejo. No, some, some people, some people, that's what they do for a living, güey. They scam people. No, no, o sea, visto scamming que, hey, can I... No, pero I mean, this is like, this is, I have those contacts saved. You, I know who you are. You have my number. Like, I, you, you know who I am. Like, it's not that it's scamming, no, no. Eso es una familia, güey, lejana. Que, Aprovechando tu familia. Huevo. If you guys know any family members you want to attach them to the white podcast, <laughs> tag them in there. We'll make sure we expose the shit of them. No se crean. Pero digo yo, like, si, o sea que eso no tiene vergüenza, viejo, la neta, ¿eh, no? Si está cabrón ese rollo, viejo. It's horrible, güey. Eh, no, no, no. Una cosa, no. Una cosa es de que te piensas si podrías ayudar y cooperar, está bien. Coopero con lo que quieras. Como you shouldn't get there, though. No, 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 no. Viejo, a veces, a veces sí, a veces por una fiesta bien, güey, pero ya que te digan, Oh, pero va a ser este tanto. No, pues, ¿qué, qué onda? Yo te voy a cooperar no, con lo que no, pueda. I shouldn't get there, Viejo, sometimes it is, it's fine. A veces te hablan así para cooperar, no pasa nada. Así para cooperar está bien. Pero ya cuando comienzan uh, a pedir cosas específicas y que no, que... No, pues, está cabrón, that's viejo. Good, that's very contradicting, güey. Porque, first of all, if you can't do it, you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Now, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Now, I do want to, I do want to say this. Hay tradiciones, güey, en México. Ok. Que ellos ayudan, güey. Yeah. Ellos ayudan. Digo porque... ¿Ande? Esas tradiciones son muy, muy comunes, güey. Sí, 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 sí. Muy común. 
Este, yo personalmente de, 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 conozco a familia que hacen eso personalmente, güey. Um, si es una boda, si es un entierro, si es un, un este, lo que sea, una quinceñera. Pero la manera que ellos lo hacen, güey, es ellos agarran una canasta, güey, y ponen un chingo de cosas, pan, fruta, un chingo de cosas, y se la llevan y botellas de vino y todo. Pero es plan con maña, viejo. Exactamente, no, 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 yo sé, pero es de que eso es una cultura para ellos, güey. Ya, 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 ya. Eso, porque eso para la gente que recibe esa madre, güey, o oh, no esa madre, sorry, el, el, las canastas, güey, es canasta? como es un privilegio. Oh, fíjate, fíjate, imagínate que ya un vato con unas cinco canastas y dices tú, a la verga, y ahí vienen con las canastas, nos van a pedir dinero. That's the first thing you think, ¿no? Pero hay mucha gente que es un privilegio para ellos, Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, es true, es un privilegio, es un fíjate, privilegio. Hablando de esas culturas, viejo, hay gente que se ofrecen, güey. Ya, 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 es que tienen billete, viejo. No, y a veces no tienen, güey. Pero es porque ellos piensan que en su mente, no, no en su mente, pero ellos piensan que religión, en la religión, güey, es como yo te voy a ayudar a acercarte a Dios, no importa el dinero, el dinero es lo de menos. Mm. Que sea un préstamo, yo lo pago después, no te preocupes, yo voy a ser tu padrino. Es que... Y pagan todo, güey. Sí, 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 pues esa cultura, es tu cultura, viejo. Hablando de culturas, viejo, me dijo un camarada mío que en Argentina se acostumbra, viejo, que la gente paga para ir a las bodas, viejo. O sea que te voy a meter una boda a ti, pero es gonna like cost you, güey, 200, 250 bucks. So, no, como digo, son culturas, viejo. Culturas, ajá, exacto. Uno está impuesto a que tiene una fiesta, viejo, y tienen todo ahí para los invitados. Para que luego digan los invitados que la comida valía para pura madre, que el grupo valía para pura madre, que los candies y cuánta madre, pero no es para eso. Pero hay cultura. Y, y, y como te digo, allá la gente de Argentina está impuesta a algo. Bueno, pues tú vas a pagar. Yo te invité, te invité a mi boda, pero tú vas a pagar uh -huh. para ir a mi boda. Y aquí, en, en, pues aquí en la cultura es diferente. Te voy a invitar y tú vas a disfrutar. Porque la boda es la cosa, la, la, la celebración es para la gente usualmente, viejo. ¿no, Exactamente. Pero. Ya, viejo, así son diferentes culturas, son diferentes costumbres. Nothing, I mean, it's... it's Pero tú fine. estás diciendo, güey, de que, de, que, de, que, de que tú invitas a la gente a la boda y ellos tienen que pagar por su plato, ¿o cómo? Ay, algo así, viejo, como que tienen que pagar ellos, se asistir, básicamente. ¿Y si, y si no, y si no, no asisten? Yo creo que lo que pasa es de que te hacen reservaciones, viejo, al reservar, como un restaurante, tienes que pagar así como un, como un boleto, viejo. Ah, ya pagué yo. Ya pagué yo y entonces aquí está tu boleto. Te invité, tienes que pagar para entrar, viejo. Es como si te invito a Islandia, tienes que comprar tu boleto. Así. Pero ¿sabes qué, güey? No solamente en Argentina, también lo hacen aquí en los Estados Unidos. Ah, pues también, viejo. Los, 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 los güeros. Los gabachos. Los gabachos. No, ellos hacen algo diferente, güey. ¿Qué hacen? Ellos, lo que yo he escuchado de ellos es de que yo voy a, yo voy a pagar por tu plato, güey, uh -huh. pero si no vas a la boda y tú me dices que vas a ir, te voy a mandar el bill. Ah, okay. Te voy a mandar el bill. No, I, I think, um, I think that's, 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 that, that could be anywhere, because I've seen people that are Mexican that do the same shit, güey. If, if, you, if you say you were going to go, because, como te digo, planear una boda es un pedo, viejo. Y, y tienes que gastar por platito y todo ese rollo. O sea que, bueno, si estás acostumbrado a lo diferente de que hagas un, una pinche cazuela, entonces es diferente, digo, pero si vas uh -huh. así como una recepción más caché y para este rollo, a veces ahí te cuentan los platillos. Hey, ¿cuántos gente va a tener? Las pinches servilletas, sí, te digo, cobran. Tampoco te digo. Entonces, si tú vas a decir que vas a asistir y no asiste, viejo, y yo, tú hay de los planes de, de tener ahí el plato para la gente, y entonces mucha gente dice, no, pues qué onda, pinche culero, y, y te mando a ti el bill. Uh -huh. Y no, I mean, para mí, mean, I don't know if they want to pay, whatever it is, pero pues sí está cabrón ese rollo, como te digo, que, que la gente a veces no confirma, güey, o confirma uh -huh. ya al último tiempo, y pues qué verga, compa. Si estoy diciendo un año anticipado, por lo mismo, you know what I mean? Because we have to fucking pay in advance, güey, like, el platillo, tú cuánta madre tienes que hacer, viejo, especially if you want to do like little small details, like, you know, I, I did that shit, and when I went to my little small details, viejo, y ahí se quedaron todos los pinches decoraciones, hijos de la robomisa, mamá, y fría, viejo, <laughs> pero pues, no pasa nada, ¿qué puede hacer, viejo? Sí se agüita uno un poco, pero pues no pasa nada, ya, ya sabes que who's with you, who's not with you, viejo, you know what I mean? Pero la gente que no fue y me dijeron, gracias, y la gente que no, ahí nomás se queda chayán. I think I'm move on to the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, all these freaking crazy ones, bro. Let me see. Um, we have another one that said, um, let me see, let me see. 
Uh, I don't know about that one. You wanna, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, es que hay unos que están bien para uh, un poquito touchy. You know what's such a topic around here, people? Um, this is another good one. They brought up, people. Should parents be fined for kids doing graffiti, shoplifting, todo ese desmadre, viejo? I've been, I've been driving around, viejo. Hombre, es un pinche cagadero de tag, viejo. That, that's everywhere, we. That's no, I understand. No, no, not, not everywhere. Not everywhere. What do you mean? It's not everywhere. No, because not everywhere. It tell me, tell me where, tell me, tell me. Donde no, donde no pasa eso. You go to fucking Newport Beach? Oh, you don't think there's tag? There's, there's graffiti over there? Oh, well, check. Check if you've seen one wall tagged out there. And if it is, we, a la media hora, la hora, vienen y la borran de la diferencia, we. Es la diferencia. I we. understand, but oh, you don't see it. You don't see there for enough. Like, it's that good that they don't see it anyways. That's not the fucking question. The question is for parents be fined. No, they shouldn't. I think they should, we. Así para de volar esa desmadre, we. You think so? A huevo, we. That, look. Nowadays, these there's like so many shoplifters. Because they go to the, they hacen su desmadre. They break into the Nike store, agarran su desmadre. Son puros pinches morridos, güey, que no le pueden hacer nada. They handcuff, they arrest them. Citation. ¿Por qué? Because sometimes the parents send them away. So imagine that. Oh, imagine that. Oh, you know what? You're, you're a minor to be, um, to be guilty, to minor. We're going to go and get your parents. We're going to go after your parents. Oh, me que cagazón, viejo. Then they'll get fucking fined, güey. Esa madre se va a acabar en un minuto. Se acaba su desmadre, viejo. The tagging. Oh, we caught your son tagging. Oh, yeah. Ahí está la última multa contigo. Una chinga te dan de volada, hijo. Y si no agarra la una, va al pinche correction, correction officer, lady, wey. I, I, don't, I don't think it's a good idea. I, I think... Um, I think it's a great idea. No, I don't think so, wey. Okay, I, why I, not? I always think about, like, opportunities that um, should be, like, place, put in place for kids. The, ta the tagging, for example, let's use the tagging as an example, wey. I think that's art, bro. And that's I think hard? Art. Yeah, art. Hijo de la and I think, no, hold up. Listen. Listen to my, li listen to my reason, reasoning way. I think it's art. And I think I think you should, like, motivate that more. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Listen, listen. Omar, here were you. Write it down and, and, and rewrite and re-fucking, I guess, read it out loud, way. What you're saying right now. You're saying... That when they tag, I'm not talking about artistic stuff. I'm not talking about an idea of flower. fucking artistic way. You put one little dot way, that shit's artistic. That's my point way. There should be opportunities or programs put in place for these kids that like to tag. Motivate them more, but don't tag. Don't tag on the walls, on property. Tag, use that skill. And do competitions for the best art. Bro, some of these art galleries that sell their shit, they're worth millions and millions of dollars, bro. There's a famous tagger by the name of, oh, fuck, I forget, Ramsey or something like that with the mouse. Bro, I think if you motivate and use that talent the right way, I think there's opportunity there. Are you done, bro? I'm done. Omar, you don't think there's there's class in play already? Anyway? You don't think no, there's no, 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 there is. There, there, I'm not saying there is. I let you talk, now you let me talk. I let you talk, now you let me talk. You don't think there's programs in play for artistic students and people with? In 2024 this year, you don't think there's no programs in play for free? For free in play. I'm talking about, there's two different distinctive things of, what do you call it? Art and vandalism. Two different things, Viejo. You know what vandalism is? Yeah. When you vandalize something, they do the same thing or what? I didn't give you the fucking whole, the whole definition, but I just repeated the word, hoping, hoping, hoping you think you know what it is. So what's the difference? About what, vandalism? Vandalism and... When you destroy a property that's okay. not yours. How do you destroy property? By adding an object or destructing something that is not part of that that um that that offense. And how 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 are these things. people vandalizing vandalizing the the property? By tagging on it. Wait. Okay. What? No, no, no. I'm, 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 still, I'm still. I'm still. I'm still. Okay. I'm still. Okay. Wait. So, so you're telling me you wake up next morning. 
<laughs> and you see your car it's fucking driven. <laughs> and you're gonna wake up and be like, oh my god, <laughs> this is amazing. Such a great art. I love this. I'm gonna keep this on my car. Is that what you're saying, bro? Because if it is, you gotta get a surprise tomorrow, you know. If you're telling me that you're okay with that, because that's art, bro. Please, if you guys want to tag somewhere, Omar's car is available <laughs> at any local street you see it. Please make sure, because he, he likes art like that. I don't have a car. It, I, take, it, I take the bus. So so if you see him around, yeah, make sure you um, give it a little nice different taste to his car because he appreciates art. Art. He loves art. And you know what? Maybe that car could go for, a, for millions of dollars, we go. Millions of dollars because that's our vehicle. Art on wheels. I like that. <laughs> Art on wheels. Hell yeah. That's what I like. Fuck it. If that's what you agree on, then I guess so. I disagree on it, bro. But, I mean, everybody has their own different perspectives, right? Yeah. But, yeah. So, make sure you go to your local store, wherever you see Omar's car. Make sure you tag it up. He's, he's going to love it. What colors do you like, Omar? Just because they want to they do any Any color. Any color is nice. Yellow, pink. Just make it nice. Ahí. His name's, um, he goes by the name of Ramo. Pon ahí un pinche ram. Algo bien. He's going to love it. Now, if you touch my car. There will be consequences. What? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Didn't, they, didn't they did a nice little art? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know who it was. But if I wouldn't know who it was, I mean. You think no. they're going to tell me who they are? Yeah, they probably tag us on the white podcast. Or oh, put a big-ass Y. <laughs> take a picture. Right. Take a picture. Yeah, and tag us on it. No, no, sure. no, no, no. Take a, pic- take a selfie with what you did. Send it to me. And we'll make it into art. That's what I'm talking about. It's about getting that Lindina. mistake and make it into talent. Wait, what mistake? Why is it a mistake, fool? What do you mean mistake, bro? That's not a mistake, bro. That's art. He felt inspired in the moment when he seen your car, and he tagged it up. Why? Why do you think people do that? Let me ask you a question. Um, I don't know. I don't know the. the I don't know the actual like basis why people do that. But why do you think? Um, would it be fair to of, say lack of ca- um, accountability? Lack of accountability. Yes. That's why they do that. Yes. Their lack of accountability. Yes. Because they get away with doing things they're not supposed to, and they just continue doing it. Because I'll tell you what, most of the tagging is at night. Why is it at night? So it'd be hard to catch, right? How can we do it in broad daylight? They, some people do. Some, some people do, people by the way. Do. And what? Are they, are, they, are they covered? Or are they showing their face? Or are they covered? Okay, I've not seen one person in daylight with his face shown doing that. I wonder why, bro. I want it's art. You should be proud of doing your art. I wonder why they don't do that. I've, I've always wondered, right? It's like, against oh the God. law. It's against the law to do it. It's against the law to be artistic. No, it's against the law to that. do it in public. But, and but, vandalize stuff. Wait, but it's not vandalism. It's an art, bro. What are you talking about? This is not vandalism. This is art. You feel inspired in the moment. I don't think you know. I don't think you're understanding where I'm coming from. Oh, please elaborate. I don't understand. Please elaborate on me, please, because I'm lost. I'm not saying they shouldn't be punished in any way, shape, or form. Okay, okay. I'm confused then. So, they should be punished or not punished? You just you just went on a rant that they shouldn't be punished? No, 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 no. And they should be programs to help the kids? And they're telling me, I'm not saying they shouldn't be punished? Bro, I'm confused, bro. People that vandalize and get caught, there's already a process for them. The problem that I have is, after that process is completed, whether they get a ticket, they get fined or whatever, what happens? I'm talking about. They go back and they do it. I'm talking about underage. Under, I, I get that. Underage, but your question one. was, if we, fi- if we find the parent for whatever property they damage, you think that's a solution for all vandalism to stop? No, but it's a start. Start to what? So, some, we can't charge. They, they're minors. We can't charge them. They can't pay anything. What, what's going to happen? What are we going to get from that? We're not going to get money to remove it because it costs to remove stuff. It costs money to have the city come and remove the damn graffiti you did. Okay. It's not free. So you could do community service. Yeah, it's all in play. Yeah, yeah, I understand all that. But somebody should pay for that. We go. And if you can't take care of your kids and they're wilding now, you should be responsible for that. You're the kids. You brought them into this world. You should be responsible for that. That's how I see it, bro. If my kids are doing what mom's outside for, and they, yeah, and what do you think I would be happy that my fucking kid's doing art outside? You think I would be thrilled? Oh, you find me a thousand dollars. My kid is having fun and doing art. I don't think. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I'm just going based on what you told me, people. No, no, no. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I agree with you. Okay, let's put it in a different perspective. Your son 
gets caught tagging mm-hmm. my car. Oh, no, what? nothing's going to happen there because you love that. Let's say I don't like it. What? No, let's change the narrative here. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. All Who do you right, think I'm going to go to? Who do you think I'm going to go towards? Me? Okay. Are you going to pay for it? Yeah, most likely. Have, okay, there you go. So. What? You confused me, bro. I'm confused. That's what the city's going to do. Go after your kids. What? What just happened right now? I'm confused. You agree with me? No, I, I, I feel like we're going. We're we're having this. No, 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 no. We're no, having no. this subject wait, wait, in so no. many, so many different. No, 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 no. There's no subject. That's no, no, no any anything, bro. I feel like you agreed with what I told you, and and all you gotta say is thank you, and I say you're welcome. That's not. That's not. That's it, viejo. That thing's a pretty great podcast, and we're gonna cut it there. I didn't hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me, let me hold up, bro. It's because I, I f- okay, yeah, we're gonna cut it. <laughs> Omar, you just went on if a whole you have, you, No, no, no. If you have the means to pay, yeah, I'm sure people are gonna. Bro, if, I, if my kid goes and tax and they go after my kid, I'm gonna be responsible for it. But I feel like I gotta step up and be responsible for it. Some of these kids, bro, their parents don't have the means to pay for it. So you're gonna find them? But what what solution is gonna, what where, solution, where what solution find, you gonna find where there? Where do they find the means to get the. F- paint a five dollar spray can which i don't know how much it is Bro. but five dollar spray can is completely different than a thousand dollar uh deductible on a car away oh yes the parents brought the child to the world that's bro therefore that's not- they are responsible for anything they do under the age of 18 now once they're past 18 they are tried as adults understandable yes so you better take care of your kids hide your kids hide your wives because I feel like if they're caught tagging, you cannot come for the kids. They're freaking, obviously something's wrong with them, right? They're rebellious, whatever it is. <clears throat> okay. Can't Let's get through them. Can't get through them. So now you got to go right, through right. your parents. I, I think it's that simple, bro. I think I, think I took it off topic. Let's bring it back here. What was the question? If kids get caught what the vandalism, fuck? should parents get charged or get fined for it too? Oh, should parents get fined? Yes. If parents don't have the means to pay for it. I don't uh, care. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not worried about if they do or they don't. I don't care about that. I don't care about all that. If your kid is being a badass kid, he should get some badass, res- badass from whatever um, actions towards their parents. I don't understand what's so hard to understand. Good, I mean, good, I good understand, luck, good luck having that parent pay back. Bro, in, in esta vida, there's nothing the government won't do to get to where you're at and get to your funds away. I'm not worried about that, you know? Good luck? Yeah, good luck. Look, come after your ass. You have a car, right? You have a phone? Yeah, all that, bro. No, I'm Collection. on Section 8. I get I get, a, I get a, a EBT card. ¿Qué quieres? My sandals? I'll give you my sandals. It's always, it's, there's always a way, Carnalio. There's always a way. In this world, there's a way. When it comes, when it comes back to your little tax refunds, all that should be white. Either way, I think they should. It's too much. I don't know why you're so mad. For I'm first, you mad. agreed, then you disagree. You did a whole loop. No, you and didn't I, find I wanted to, to the I wanted, problem, to, I wanted to cut this podcast about five minutes ago. We just went all around talk about the same topic, Vico. Maybe. You agreed? I, I appreciate you agreeing hey, to my. Hey, please comment. If you agree, disagree. If you think I'm fucking talking nonsense, go ahead and write yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you think he's too harsh, harsh? On, on, on parents no, 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 or their no. kids' actions, then comment that too. Look, regardless, what I comment? expect a whole paragraph. Yeah, on this yeah. fucking YouTube video. Shh, go I on, expect yo. your opinion. Mm-hmm. Nothing less. Everybody's opinion is respected. You guys, yes. everybody's entitled to their own opinions. That's my opinion. Omar's opinion. It was first no, then yes, then no again. He was confused himself. No, my but opinion. I will walk him through that, through that confusion and get him on the right path. This is, again, the White Podcast. Thank you for joining us. Omar. Memo. Mix. Lates. <laughs>